Number 20. One way to state Boyle's law is all other things being equal. The pressure of a gas is inversely proportional to its volume. And then we have letter A. What is the meaning of the term inversely proportional? And then letter B, what are the other things that must be equal? Okay, so we have our, our, our man Boyle here, right? Boyle came up with this idea that all other things are equal. The pressure of the gas is inversely proportional to the volume. Now we can get to Boyle's law by using the combined gas law. We've seen this a little bit already. It's this formula right here. This is the combined gas law that combines four laws together. And all the four laws were named after um, the scientists that invented them. So Boyle specifically talked about the relationship between pressure and volume. So I go to my combined gas law and I just highlight those two things. So pressure is right here. And actually maybe I'll do the volume is right here, right? So we have to talk about that, and the pressure is right here. Now, this is the combined gas law. Get rid of all the other uh, variables that we're not talking about. So we could answer basically letter B. What had to have been equal, a.k.a. what must be constant? Well, since Boyle only talks about pressure and volume... I don't care about T, and I don't care about N. So the other things are going to be temperature. That's T. And N is the number, and maybe I'll put just the number, of moles. And now since we're stating these constant, this is why I love the combined gas law, is that I can literally get rid of them. Bye-bye. They're constant. We don't care about them. It's, it's, it's beautiful to kind of make it easier for yourself. And from here, this is now Boyle's Law. So Boyle's Law just talks about the relationship between P1V1 and P2V2, or just pressure and volume. Now, they're already telling us that this relationship is an inverse proportional relationship or an indirect relationship, it doesn't matter. We'll just say that this is inversely proportional, aka indirect. And remember, there are direct relationships and indirect or inversely proportional. These mean that if I have two variables, like P times V, this is X times Y, if one of the variables increases, in order to kind of balance this side, if this number increases, this number has to drop. And that's what an inversely proportional relationship means. That if the pressure increases, what's going to happen is the volume will have to go down, and vice versa. So if the pressure decreases, the volume will increase. And that's what a inverse proportional um, meaning is. So that's the answer for A. And I'll say vice versa. And then letter B, we already took care of that. What are the other things that must be equal, aka constant? Just the other two variables, temperature and number of moles. Get rid of them because Boyle's Law only talked about pressure and volume. And that's it. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.